We are always live. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but climate <it's> on radio. <laughs> this is a radio, it's so exactly 10. it's exactly ten, indeed. Such a good time management here. <laughs> oh yes. So then, welcome everybody to the yoga session. I hope you are all feeling good and you have some comfortable clothes because we will energize our body to get this day started and relax a bit our mind to be more productive for this uh, full program of the day. And uh, so I invite you yeah, to find your way on a sitting position on uh, your yoga mat. I hope everybody has one. Otherwise, just use a uh, carpet, but pay attention that sometimes they can slide. So don't injure yourself. And then just sit down uh, with our cross neck positions or if you are more expert, maybe you can try also the lotus so, or half lotus, find your way. And then just start to close your eyes and come to your natural breath. So now don't think at the next session, just stay focused on the present moment. And so I start to relax. Breathe in and out. And then we start the session with an opening arm. So by the next breath in, raise your arms up. And with the palms touching and then breathe out. Sink your arms in front of your heart. And then let's start with a big deep breath in for the arm. Then release your hands, open your eyes, and uncross your legs, and come up to a standing position uh, at the top of your mat. So bring the feet together, uh, the big toes and the heels are touching. Keep this standing posture, so be very grounded on the floor. So keep your shoulder down, belly in, and then we start to engage our Ujjayi breath. So it's a breath that we will use during all the sessions, so you breathe in from the nose, and again, you breathe out from the nose. And these are quite kind of equalized breathing, so the same length and with a bit of sound. So like a sleeping baby or the ocean waves, you can think. So I don't know if now with the microphone we can hear, but it's like, a... so try to keep this rhythmus with the breath. And then let's start. So inhale. Bring your arms up, look at your thoughts, and then exhale, come down to lower your feet. Inhale, look up, stretch your spine, exhale, step, step in plank, and then let's do knees, chest, and chin, exhale, then slide forward, and inhale in cobra, and then exhale and come to your first down facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then breathe in and out. We do it for five times. Exhale, two. And every time you exhale, try to push more your back down and your heels on the floor. Three. Four. And five. And then inhale, look forward and step, step forward or jump. And then exhale, come with your head toward your feet, Uttanasana. And then inhale, raise your 
Release your arms and your spine stretched up to reach the hands together over your head and then exhale, sit them down in Tamasiti. And then inhale, this time bend your knees. So bring first the tip of your uh, fingers on the floor and then from here, raise up your hands. So stay in this uh, Utkatasana chair posture. And then exhale, stretch the legs. Come down to your feet. Inhale, look forward, stretch the spine. And then exhale, you can even try this time to jump or continue with step step. And then if you want, you can try the Chaturanga Dandasana, the full Chaturanga. So you just go down on your elbows without touching the floor with the knees. And then you roll over your feet to up facing dog or to Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale, come down to Adho Mukha Svanasana. And now inhale, bring the right leg up like uh, three, um, sorry, uh, three leg, leg to dog. <laughs> That's the name of this posture. So just pull the foot up and then exhale, bring the foot in between your hands. And then first bring the knee down and we go in a low lunge. So raise your hands, you look at the ceiling. And then from here we go in the high lunge. So take at the toes of your back leg and then Stretch the knee and come up. Here, open the chest, really push the shoulder down. And then from here, put down your heel. So the left heel is now on the floor and the front leg is bent, possibly 90 degrees for the warrior one, Vidya Padrasana uh, one. So the hands are together and you look at the thumbs and continue to breathe. By the next breath out, open the arms in warrior two. So they are very strong. It's like somebody is pulling you for one side and the others, and you're just in the middle, pulling both directions. And then from here, let's start a dancing warrior to give some movement to this warrior. So inhale, bring the right hand back, open the chest. And then when you exhale, maybe I turn so you see me better. When you exhale, you come then with the elbows on the knee and the left hand in line with the leg. And then again, inhale, come back. Exhale, go on the leg. Another time, inhale. And now when you exhale, you go, you go directly on the mat with the hands. So side by side from your foot. And then bring back your right foot. And you can choose if you want to do the full chaturanga without uh, putting the knees on the floor or the halfway with the knee on the floor and chest and sheep. And then cobra or uh, uh, facing dog. And then exhale, you go in down facing dog. And now let's do the same with the left side. So inhale, bring the left leg up. And be, mm, be sure that the hips are not opening. So don't make like this, but keep the hips parallel to your leg. And just push through the heel up your leg. And then inhale, bring the foot in between your hands like we did before and sink down your, your right knee. And then inhale, come up in the low lunge. Look at the ceiling. Try really to push on your front leg. Try to stretch all this, this part of the hips. Give a nice stretch to wake up. And then from here, 
Pick up the toes of your right foot and stretch the right knee and come in the high lunge. Breathe in and out. And then by the next breath in, bring the right um, heel on the floor and come in the warrior one on the left side. So continue to look at your thumbs. The hands are together, palms touching. And try to push more on your front leg. So your, the bent leg. But don't forget the right foot. So the right sole is really grounded on the floor. Don't collapse inside with the ankle, but push outside. And then open also here. Maybe wrong direction again. Uh, open in the warrior's room. So just keep strong this warrior two. Look at the middle of your uh, left hand, the middle finger of the left hand, and bring down the shoulder. Don't stay like this, but really they are away from the, uh, from the ears. And then from here we start dancing warrior, inhale back, exhale, go on your leg with the help. And then inhale, and exhale, come in the front. And then again, inhale, and now exhale, go on the floor. So set the side from your foot, bring the foot back. And here again, let's make a Chaturanga Dandasana or knees, chest and chin. Inhale, up facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing duck. One. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. Look at your navel and pull inside your belly. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. And then inhale, bend your knees, look forward and jump. And then exhale, come down toward your feet. And then inhale, bend your knees, raise up your hands, look at your thumbs, Utkatasana, chair posture. And then exhale, stretch everything and come in summer seat. So now let's open on the side, bring the feet uh, approximately one meter distance apart, and then rotate the front foot. 90 degrees toward the right side. The left foot is a bit inside. And then keep the, the hips facing the, the front of your of you, but uh, open the side on the, open the arms on the side and keep, so the arms shoulder level. Watch the middle finger of your right hand and then inhale. Bring your upper body forward and then exhale, bring it down in triangle posture, Trikonasana. One, so the right hand, you can keep it on the leg and just open here the chest, the left hand, and look at the left hand. Two, if you're more flexible, you can maybe even put the hand on the floor. Three, four, and five, inhale, come up, exhale, switch on the left side. So open the left foot, close a bit the right foot, and then look the left middle finger, inhale, come a bit forward with your upper body, exhale, go down on the left leg, one, Two, three, four, and five. 
and then inhale, come up, exhale, switch side again. This time, rotate also your hips, so come in a parallel position, so with the hips parallel to your, your legs. And then the right hand is on your hip, the left hand comes up and you inhale, and then exhale, bringing the left hand on your left leg or on the floor, left side, uh, right side, sorry, no, right leg. <laughs> sorry, I made some mistakes with right leg, then right. So right leg is in front, the left hand is down and the right arm is up. One, two, that's the inverse triangle. Exhale, three. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. And then inhale, come up and switch the side. So the left leg is in front, the right is 45 degrees um, in the back. And then hips are facing the, the left leg. And then inhale, bring the right hand up, look at it, and then exhale. Follow the hand if you can, keep the balance, and bring the hand on your left leg or on the floor on the left side. And open the left hand, one, exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, and then inhale, come up, exhale, come in some seat. All right, now let's open on the side again. Let's just do a couple of front bending. So bring the hands on your hips. Inhale, open the chest, look at the ceiling. Exhale, bend from in front. So go down with your back, but keep the back stretched. So don't pull, really keep the the spine really stretch until you reach your maximum. And when you reach it, put the hands under your shoulder. And then from here, push down. One, exhale, two. The aim is really to bring the top of your head on the floor. Exhale, three. Please imagine yourself there, even if you're not there. Exhale, four. Exhale, five, and then inhale, look up, bring the hands on your hips and slowly come up, and then close your feet and come at the top of your mat. Let's, go, let's make another vinyasa to go down in the sitting postures. So inhale, bring up your hands, look at your thumb. Exhale, come down to your feet. Inhale, look forward. And then exhale, bend your knees, jump back. And here you can do Chaturanga Dandasana or knees, chest and chin. And then inhale, up facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. Now from here, bend your knees, and then jump in a sitting position. So stretch your legs, and then flex your foot, your feet, and really feel your sitting bones grounded on the floor. And then inhale, raise your hands up, look up. And then exhale, come down to your legs. One. Inhale, stretch your spine and exhale, 
push more to. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. And then inhale, look forward and come up. Now bring the elbows. So first you have your hands side and by side from your hips. And then bring the elbows down and there we put your hands. Same thing on the left side. So this is the right distance. And now we go in Purvottanasana. So you push um, on your palms and on your heels. And you come up with the, with the hips, the legs, the back. Everything is away from the mat. And if you feel good with the neck, you can even try maybe to bring the head back. One, point your feet. Two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, come down. And now bend your knees, bring your hands in the front. And from here again, we go in a vinyasa flow. So bring the feet in. Plank and then choose your vinyasa. You can do always knees, chest, and chin, or full chaturanga, which is a bit harder, let's say. And then inhale, open here in cobra. Very good position, especially for those who stay a lot of hours in front of the computer, like we are doing now. So, and then exhale, come maybe first in a in Balasana, in the child posture. So here you can keep your hands in the front and breath and try to stretch also yeah, your, your shoulder, your, your upper back and relax your lower back. And then from here, take the toes, come in in the down facing dog. And now again, bend the knees, uh, step, step, or jump, sitting. Okay, now let's go uh, in a, let's make this exercise. So open the, um, the knees, bring them the closest you can at the floor. And then with your hands, you, uh, you yeah, twist the feet like a book, you open them. And in this way, the knees are also going down a bit more. And then with the spine stretched, you go forward. So you bend forward, but don't go with the curve. So don't bring the head on the feet, but rather is the chest, which is going toward the feet. And if the head, the chin are trying to go over, so on the mat, one. Two, it's a good exercise for the hips open. Three, four, and five, and then inhale, come up. And now close your legs and lay down on your back. So uh, with your fingers, you can uh, touch the heels, it means that you have the right distance, and we can start with the next exercise. So you start with the, so it's called bridge position, or we can also do the Urbhada Murasana for those who want to challenge yourself more. So let's start by inhaling, bringing up your hips, your buttocks, all away from the mat, and then interlace the fingers under your back so that your, your shoulder are also pushed up. And then you can just stay here if it's already hard for you. So just stay here and keep that position. It can strengthen your muscles, so it's very good. But if you want to go a bit forward, you can bring the hands side to side, close to the ears. 
and then go in the Urva Danurasana, the wheel, full wheel. So you push on the hands, on the elbows, and then you bring up everything. One, exhale, two. It's really good, this back bending for the back. Four, and five, and then come down and bring the knees closer to you. Now we can roll, maybe bring the knees on the right side on the floor and look at the left shoulder. One, bring the shoulder really on the floor. If the, key, uh, the knees are coming up, it's fine, but the, the shoulder has to be on the floor to, to twist more the back. Four and five. And now switch sides. So bring the knees back central and then on the left. And you look at the right. Shoulder, right shoulder on the floor. And then bring the uh, legs again central. And now before finishing the class, let's do a shoulder stand. If you don't want to do the shoulder stand, you can just stay in this posture that is the restorative shoulder stand. So you don't create any inversion with your body. Otherwise, come in the foot for a shoulder stand. So bring the knees at your front head and then stretch up the legs. And try really to find this straightness in your body, like a, can, a candle. And look at your tongue, the big toes. And then slowly bring the feet on the back of your head, so over your head. You can, once you reach the, the floor, you can interlace the fingers on the other way and push the, the arms and the hands on the floor. So you're pulling in opposite directions, the feet on the back and the hands on the front. And um, release your hands, bring them back on the floor, on the mat with the palms on the mat. So it helps you now to roll out. So slowly, vertebra after vertebra, roll out and come back in a laying position. Once you, lead, you reach the last vertebra, then you can bring the feet down and maybe open again the, the knees. And then from here we go in the Matsyasa and the fish posture. So push on the elbows, inhale. And then create this nice arch under your back and bring the top of your head on the floor. So also the neck now is uh, in the opposite um, tension because we just did the shoulder stand, which is a lot of, of tension for the neck. So now we want to re relax it. So we create this nice arch on the other way. And then exhale, come down again with the elbows. You can help yourself to exit the posture. And now from here, we go in a, in a short Shavasana. So just lay down, don't move anything anymore. Keep the, the feet a bit uh, distant, the hands are facing the ceiling, bit distant from your hips. And now just feel the gravity you know, on your body, so grounded and don't move anything, relax.
So slowly comes out from Shavasana, but start with very small movements. So start to move your toes, your fingers. Then you can maybe twist the wrists and the ankles. And then bring your knees towards your chest and squeeze your inner nice um, hug. So really bring your, your arms around your legs and really hug yourself. And then roll on the right side. So you stay some moments, some breaths on your right side. Enjoy this relaxation and then with the left hand you push up your body to come up on a sitting position. Keep the eyes closed if you can. And now just stay a couple of breaths more. You can maybe just bring the hands in um, Jan Mudra so the the thumb is touching the index fingers and the palms are facing the, the ceiling. And now just stay some breaths in this kind of meditation posture. It's very important now to, to relax the mind. So continue to breath. The breath is the link between the body and the mind. And it's your answer when you feel like the, the thoughts are going away. So probably you are full of thoughts right now for all the sessions that are coming next. But just try now to, to focus inside yourself. So uh, withdraw all the inputs outside of you and just stay focused and observe the thoughts that arrive because they arrive. It's impossible to have a completely empty mind now, but just observe them. Don't go inside of the thoughts and just be present here. And now breath in and bring the hands up over your head, palms touching and then exhale, bring them down in front of your chest. Push the thumbs inside your chest so that now with the final arm, we can feel the vibrations more around your body. So deep inhale. Bring the hands uh, away from the chest and start to move them up and down with the palms uh, so that they are warming up and then bring the palms in front of your eyes. Feel this warm. And then open your eyes inside, bring the hands away from you. Look inside the palms like a book. So see positive thoughts, smile to yourself. And thank you very much for this, for having shared this uh, yoga session with me. And namaste, have a wonderful and productive day, guys. Thank you, Silvia. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was uh, really great. We had uh, almost 40 person watching you up online. So we really hope that that was, um, and we are sure actually that it was exactly what our participants needed. We want to tell everyone that Silvia is part, uh, has recently founded C Yoga. So don't hesitate going on her website and uh, following her on social media and asking her for uh, lessons. Is there is anything in particular, Silvia, you want to say? 
about C yoga? You have to unmute yourself. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I already put the mute. Uh, no, but I mean, thank you. You said already that uh, there is my um, Facebook page. Uh, so website, I'm making uh, evening classes from Monday to, to Friday. So if you want yeah, to continue following my yoga practices, you're very welcome. And um, see yoga is the name. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the session. <laughs> Perfect. So Silvia will be also with us tomorrow morning. That will be a very stressful day for our participants because of their deliverables at one. But uh, I'm sure that they can make the time for a 30 minutes yoga and that will help them a lot. Even better. So you can be more productive and more relaxed to, to sustain all the stress. Indeed. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Silvia. Thank to you, Silvia. Bye bye. <laughs>